Good morning, scholars, faculty, and to our families that are joining us this morning. Hey, it is a beautiful Monday, March 27, 2023, and I really hope that you guys had a relaxing and enjoyable week off. Man, guys, we are down now to the wire with, with the last nine weeks of school, and so we're going to make this the best that we possibly can. So let's get cracking with our morning announcements. As our Pacer Expectations, well, today we're actually going to be going over a specific part of our Pacer Expectations, and these are the expectations on the playground. And I want to go over the one right there that says, keep hands and feet to yourself. This is probably one of the most important ones right there, because while we are playing physical activity on the, uh, the playground, maybe you guys are on the, the jungle gym, the handball court, or on the basketball court, Keeping our hands and our feet to ourselves is what keeps our campus safe, okay? And um, since you guys have just had a week off, possibly at your own home with your maybe brothers and sisters, maybe with your cousins, possibly even neighborhood friends, maybe in you guys' household, you guys do wrestle. Maybe you guys do uh, put your hands on each other while you guys are at home. But what we need to do now is we have to shift our brain to, oh, I am now at school. There are different rules at school to keep us all safe here. There are hundreds of scholars here. Hundreds, it's in hundreds. It's very different than your house that has just a few, okay? So this is why it's very important that we make the switch in our brain that we are no longer at home, which your, your rules at home may be different and that may be acceptable there. And that's fine. But when we are at school, we need to make the shift in our head. Oh, I cannot put my hands on each other now. I can do that like at home, but, but here we cannot do that. That is unsafe and that is against our school rules and does not make a safe environment. So let's go ahead, guys. I wanted to remind everybody that, that we are keeping our hands to ourselves. Already, guys, well, we are in a relentless pursuit to awaken and to cultivate our individual strengths. That is our Pacer pledge each and every day. All right, guys. Well, of course, for our uh, joke of the day, Hey guys, what's red and smells like blue paint? Well, red paint. <laughs> oh man, it's red and it smells like blue paint. Well, what is it? It's still red paint. <laughs> oh, that's a good one right there. All righty, guys. Well, we have a very exciting night coming up, guys, in just a week and a half away on Thursday, April 6th at 5 o'clock is open house. Bring your whole family here, guys. You guys get to go into your, your classroom and show off the different projects, show off where you sit and get to go and look at your the walls it's in your classroom that are just filled with your guys' work right there. So that is a lot of fun. And then on Thursday, April 6th, is going to be our talent show, which is basically the same night. Immediately afterwards, we'll meet in the NPR, and we're going to get our talent show on. So it's going to be a lot of fun coming up, guys, in just a week and a half right there. And also something to, to look forward to, very exciting, is our college and career day on Friday, April 21st. So be ready for that. Something to get excited about as we are preparing for an amazing day right there. Also, so, something that, that we can get excited about is this Friday. That's right, guys. There's only three more movie nights. We have March, April, and May. And so on this um, March 30th, we're going to be doing episode number seven, The Force Awakens. Does that sound kind of familiar? The Pacer Awakens, right? <laughs> this is actually where we got our theme from. And so we're going to be watching episode seven in, in March. So uh, lo looking forward to seeing you guys Friday night. It's going to be sweet. Hey, so some of you scholars have been asking me if you, if you guys can actually tell your own jokes on the morning announcements, and that would be great and amazing. So check it out. Just go to the general channel in our team almond students tile on teams, and you're going to see it right there. You're going to see a post. It's going to be a flip grade. And so you can record your own uh, joke at any time of the day. And then uh, at some point in a, in a future morning announcement, you will go ahead and make your way on there. So it's going to be a lot of fun to see some of you guys on there as well. Also, uh, we have now... We now have a way for, for you to get your pit stop order resolved. For example, we just processed all the orders. Maybe we were missing something. 
Maybe it was the, the wrong item. I'm not sure, but hey, now that there's a way for you to let us know. So basically, all you got to do is go to the general channel. You're going to see the post right there that says pit stop order correction. You click right there and then tell us what's going on right there. You can tell us in a few sentences and then we will um, get right on that. Appreciate it, guys. All righty, guys. Well, hey, well, we've been on this March reading revolution and let's check out where we are at right now. So first of all, I did this challenge before we went on break and I said, hey, any grade level that beats Redwood's equivalent grade level will win, first of all, a pizza party for your entire class. And secondly, either an extended recess on the field or time in the game room. And that will just be a vote from your guys' class. And so check out the numbers right there. I'm not going to read them all out loud right now, but, but you can kind of see that. We have some, some grade levels are very close. And so, hey, this is the, the last week. The, the competition ends on Friday at 11.59 uh, p.m. And then right at midnight, whoop, it is, it is over. And let's see where our numbers are right now as we are competing with them. Well, if you look right now, we're uh, 48, 4.8 million, and they're at 9.7 million. So let's just say that, that they are winning by a lot right now. But check it out. This does not mean that, that we give up. Heck no, we got five days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I know. And when I say I know, I know this for a fact. I have so much confidence, guys, that we can still come back and we can beat these guys. Because right now, they're sitting back and they're saying, man, guys, we got this. We got this. They're kind of like the, the tortoise, right? The tortoise that, or not tor sorry, the tortoise, the, the rabbit. They went out real fast and like, okay, I think I'm going to take a nap now. Guys, we cannot be like that. It's time for us to kick it in, into gear Scholar, I want to see you guys put that reading into overdrive. You, you had a week off. We're energized. We're ready to go. Let's do it, scholars. Let's go and see if we can beat Redwood ultimately. But really, it's all about the love of reading and creating that within every one of our, of our hearts right there. So, all righty, guys. Well, that is the Monday edition of our morning announcement. Hope you guys have a fantastic and a sweet day or not. The choice is always yours.